Hi you guys. So it's finally time for me to do my goal zero review on my 7 watt panel and the Nomad 7 and my 13 uh, watt panel the Nomad 13. You can see they're different sizes and um, overall I think they both work really well. With this system you can also buy uh, the Gold Zero 10 Plus which is basically a battery charger. They sell it as a battery pack that you can charge and then take it to charge your cell phone with or something, you know, one of those mobile battery packs. But in my experience, the batteries don't last nearly long enough to even make it worth your while. I only use this anymore to charge batteries. So it charges AA batteries and there's an adapter, if I could get this open, for AAA batteries and it comes with a set of batteries. But again, I don't use this to charge a computer or a, even a cell phone because in five minutes the batteries are flat. So I uh, thought originally then maybe it was the batteries themselves. I actually have two of these, so I tested both of them multiple ways. So I tried them with the AA batteries that they came with. I tried them with the AAA batteries that they came with. And then finally, I just put in some regular uh, NICAD batteries and used them fresh just as a power pack. And they also died within about five minutes of charging something. So this will charge batteries in a matter of hours, but it will not work well enough to charge your cell phone. So here's my little Nomad 7. It's two panels, pretty small. Um, let's see, six... Uh, maybe 15 inches long all said and done with these two small panels it folds up and it's got a hanging um, carabiner and then things on the side to hang from and on the back it has what they call the garage and this is where you can put your various types of chargers so here's a charger for my Android telephone this is the adapter for the battery pack to make it into AAA this is the charger for uh, to charge the battery. So the USB, I'll turn it upside down. The USB is here. The Guide 10 is that battery pack, and then there's also a 12 volt uh, charger as well. The newer versions allow you to daisy chain multiple uh, Goal Zeros together. However, uh, this Nomad 7 is very old, so it does not allow that. But with the newer this 13, so you could uh, put these together to make 20 watts, much bigger panels, and I'll give you a shot of those side by side. The uh, garage is on the back, and this is something that I think is really cool, is they've hardwired all the chargers in here. On this other one, you can take the charger out and use it for something else, but what I find is that you know once you remove a charger from something, good luck getting it back in there. Uh, they tend to disappear, which is why this cord is white. I had to buy a replacement for it. But these are hardwired in. So here's the USB charger, right? Here's the 12 volt charger, and it comes with all these uh, cords. The 12 volt charger. Here's uh, the daisy chain, so I could hook it up to one of my other chargers or another panel and then here is the uh, battery charger the Goal Zero 10 Plus. So what I find works best is just to direct charge in the sun. I'll plug these in uh, when we're out on the beach and have them uh, directly into my phone or my Kindle or my husband's iPad and it will charge any of those. I'm during use, so using the device and charging, I get about 10 to 15 percent an hour in direct sun, which isn't bad. If I leave it by itself, I get about 20 percent per hour in the direct sun. Um, so let me set these up side by side. You can take a quick look at them. All right, so here's the little battery charger pack, and then here's the 13 or the 7 watt and the 13 watt so you can see the different size different sizes here
and very light weight. This closes magnetically. This older one closes with a Velcro. But let's see, this weighs maybe a pound and a half, two pounds with the chargers. This weighs even less. Uh, so anyway, I think it's a great setup. I will definitely continue to use these and I will look for more Goal Zero items. Goal Zero now sells an upgraded version of the battery pack. It's not one that actually has real batteries in it. It's uh, one of the more current battery pack chargers, so I might try that out as well. But overall, it's just great. We're using them both continually while we're here in Mexico, and I, I'm really happy with them both. I got this one off of eBay. It came with uh, a speaker and that plugs directly into the charger as well. It's a battery-powered speaker. Um, so you can charge it with the battery and play it, or just leave it plugged in. So it came with the speaker, uh, one of these uh, with the batteries, and then um, the 7 watt. And I think I got it for like 60, 70 bucks. Um, but it's an older version. Uh, this one I bought new um, about a year or so ago, and I can't remember what I paid. But I'll put some links in the box below so you guys can look them up. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about either one of these or um, the battery pack that I have, the Goal Zero Guide 10. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.